There is a sweet but little pungent aroma in the backyard today. And that's because our American chestnut tree is in full bloom right now. Here's the base of our tree. We're gonna pan up and look at the crown. And we can see it is just full of flowers. Those strands kind of, it's a stringy flower similar to an oak tree. Kind of multiple of them draped down. And it's that whitish color. There's definitely a fragrance in the air. It's not sweet like a lilac. There's a hint of sweetness, but it's a little bit of a nutty, pungent smell to it also. But this should mean we've got a lot of chestnuts to sort through. Hopefully it's getting pollinated with the other trees that I have on the property. And the closest one is to the south. So hopefully we get a strong south wind soon to blow in some of the pollen from that tree over to this one. Unfortunately, it cannot self pollinate. It needs pollen from another tree similar to an apple tree to actually uh, bear fertile seeds. We zoom up all the way to the top. We can see there's flowers all the way down. Now some of the branches seem to have died. Looks like there's not leaves on them. I don't know if that's normal to the species. It seems like it's maybe not 100% healthy, but it's kind of consistent year over year and, and nothing much seems to change. This used to be in a dense forest here. So it's actually added some branches lower, like this, this smaller one here. As those competing trees were taken away, it's kind of building out its crown more 360 degrees around to take advantage of the sunlight it's now getting down lower. But overall, still looks pretty healthy. Just a few of those branches don't have leaves on it. Um, but again, year over year, I'm not seeing signs of it getting worse. It is the end of August and our chestnut tree is done flowering. So the whitish yellowish flowers have matured. Once they are done and they're pollinated, they kind of turn brown and drop off the tree. Where they lay on the ground and uh, they make a bit of a mess. And these things do not degrade very quickly. There's quite a bit of organic material here and they're pretty strong. These things, um, can smother the grass if you have a lot of them. Normally I bag the grass and suck them up and they're just kind of gone. In the flower bed and around the fire pit, I just use a blower and blow them into the grass and then with normal cutting, they just kind of disappear. It's actually fairly easily to go around and collect these and create quite a ball of old flowers. Kind of creates a mess, but not a big deal for me. Uh, this kind of degrades back to nature. Probably good fertilizer for the lawn and plants. Now that the tree is done flowering, if we look up at the canopy, we should be able to see our seed pods starting to form. And sure enough, we can see the, the green prickly ball starting to form all over the tree. This is at the base of those flowers and the chestnut is growing inside that seed pod. Once that chestnut has matured in that seed pod, it will turn brown and either open up in the tree and drop the chestnuts or the entire seed pod will drop to the ground and then release the chestnuts. So that is a summary of how our American chestnut flowers and then sets those seed pods and has them mature. Over the next few months here, they're going to mature and then they'll start, start dropping in October in this area. The oaks have already started to drop their acorns here in late August. This tree drops them after the majority of acorns are already on the ground. Once this thing starts dropping the chestnuts, uh, squirrels and deer are out here constantly scavenging around the bottom of it and eating up 
or storing away any of those uh, filled out chestnuts. So I have to be very diligent on checking this very often to make sure uh, I can get my hands on a few to hopefully germinate and propagate this tree. Thanks for watching. Look for a fall update. Adios.